Here we have the chain rule for the derivative of the natural logarithm. So we have an ln still, but inside of it is not just a regular x. It might be ln of x plus 1 or ln of 2x, something more than just an x on the inside. It really doesn't affect too much about how we take the derivative because remember with natural logs, we can just think about what's inside. It was the derivative of the inside over the original inside that got us that the derivative of the natural log of x was 1 over x. And it's going to be the same type of rule for this. We're going to just think about what's on the inside of the natural log and take the derivative of it and put it over the original inside. Derivative of the inside over the original inside is how I say this rule. So looking at this first example below, we have y equals. The derivative is going to be labeled y prime. Our answer is going to be a fraction. It's going to be derivative of the inside over the original inside. There's no ln necessarily in our answer unless it's part of the derivative. So we kind of just get to cover it up and think about what was inside the natural log. What's the derivative of that going to be? Well, x cubed is going to have 3x squared as its derivative when we bring down the power and subtract from the new power. Same thing, keep the negative 6 times 2 is going to give us negative 12, and that'll be x to the first. And then 3 pi... Be super careful, this is just a constant. It doesn't have an x on it. So there's the whole derivative of what was inside over the original inside. So even though it's our 10th rule, it is not the hardest rule by any means. Nice rule to save for last on these basic derivatives. Same thing with the next one. You can pause the video, see if you can try it. You're doing derivative of the inside over the original inside. You get to kind of just cover this up with your finger is what I would normally do. Take the derivative, 3 times 5 is going to be 15. Then 5 minus 1 is 4. So we have 15x to the fourth. Bring down the power again. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Bring down the power, subtract from the new power. And then another weird looking constant here. You could plug it into your calculator and see that it is just a number. There's no x on it, so its derivative is just 0. That's the derivative of the inside over the original inside. 3x to the fifth minus 3x to the fourth minus ln of 3. So any ln, you are thinking derivative over original. That's how we're going to think about this rule. Cover up the ln. It's not part of your answer necessarily at all. Um, this answer had an ln in it because that was part of the original inside. So it could be there, but there's not like a big ln out front or anything anymore. You're just doing derivative of the inside over the original inside.